Hello everybody, it's Mystical Gamer signing in to say welcome back. Time for Anatomy of Disaster. Episode 8, the final chapter. Oh god, this is so close to the end, isn't it? So close, you could get it done in one night for me. But for you guys, you've got to suffer a long, long two weeks. Haha. <laughs> Alright, let's start. There we were, heading east across the Atlantic Ocean, stowaways on a giant airborne fortress. Though time is short, we make sure to study up on our unknown host, Arpeggio. While attending a prestigious boarding school, the young Arpeggio excelled in all subjects, but he never managed to keep up with the other boys physically. Sadly, his wings, due to their small size, were useless for flight. Furious at his feeble body, he focused his powerful mind to search for a cure in the works of the Italian Renaissance masters. Their notebooks provided the springboard for this sinister young genius, and it wasn't long before the claw gang took him on as chief inventor. His talents must have been at work repurposing all the clockwork parts for their criminal schemes, and now this mastermind is in possession of all the parts. It's only a matter of time before he puts them back together, and when that happens, well, I'm not going to let that happen. By the way, the static wasn't me. Sly Cooper and the gang, in. Anatomy for disaster. And as always, this is going to leave chills down your spine. Now, here's the thing. I don't know shit about this zone. In fact, let's have a look. Oh crap, no, 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 no. Wanna go back in. We wanna see what new upgrades we have available. Temporal lock. Temporary freezes time around you. Guards, temporary at least. You don't have enough coins to buy this item. That is a useful ability. Let's see what Murray has. Diablo <laughs> Fire Slam. While carrying an enemy or create but to create a deadly firestorm, you don't have enough Wow. As I said, these abilities are awesome. Let's see what. Feral Pounce. Jump, jump over vast distances. You don't have enough coins to buy these items. Sly's ability. That can actually... And the best part is that one doesn't take up any energy. It's actually really useful for that reason. It can, I've actually abused it in the past with uh, the Sly 3 game. So, yeah. Now, here's the thing. Another 30 clue bottles. We found one already. But I'm not going to pick them up just yet. We are going to do... Oh god, let's wait for that thing to come down so I can actually know what I'm doing. What's the mission called? Come on. Alright, well let's travel first. Okay, so as you can probably see, this zone is nightmare fuel. For if you're slight... Well, for slight it's easy to traverse. But, Bedley and Murray on the other hand don't have an easy time because the fan, there's actually so little walkway. Sly is only easy because of all his abilities to sneak around things. But Bentley and Murray, as you can tell, don't have that luxury. In fact, they're actually, you know, in a much dire strait. So, Blimp HQ Recon, that's what we're going to be doing. So yeah, you will be, as Bentley, regretting every second out of, you know, on the zone. As Murray, you will be fighting 24-7. As Sly, your best option is to basically stay in ninja mode and do not touch the floor. That is the only way you can survive this zone. It is extremely difficult to get around. And what's worse is that, well, what's better is, although there is a clear defined ground and rooftop level, they do interchange, which means it's going to be bloody difficult to guess who's going to be who and where. Sounds good. I'm on my way. Don't waste any time here, Sly. Get to the blimp and take some recon photos. To build the plan, we need to know how close they are to reviving clockwork. Relax, Bentley. I've got it under control. Oh, it gets worse. Because this zone isn't fully complete yet. You go, wait, what? Yeah, the zone isn't fully finished. 
and in fact, that's actually the biggest disadvantage for you here. After this uh, this map is done, the zone is technically complete-ish. Again, I can't say what, you know, is missing, but I'm guessing if you know you've played, you know, enough of Sly 1, or see my playthrough of Sly 1, or anyone's playthrough of Sly 1, you'll know what's missing. Yeah. Final zone needs the final boss to show up and intimidate the fuck out of us. So, that's not spoilerific enough, I don't know what is, but yeah. I, I had no idea they could reassemble clockwork so fast! Calm down, Bentley. He might be in one piece, but he doesn't appear to be, you know, alive. Let's stick to the format here. How about some recon photos? You're right. We need to be informed to create a plan of action. Try to get a shot of Clockwork's head, a mech egg, and one of those spinning magnetic inducers. They seem important to the procedure, but stay away from the guards. If you get detected, we won't have time for a second chance. Yeah. The f well, I was going to say, yeah, the guards are now going to be your biggest problem. Because there's no room for error. It's dangerous enough as it is up here. So, yeah, you can kind of see how... Alright, one of Clockwork's eggs. Now, how the frag are we supposed to get around here when we've got a freaking metal bird watching our every move? Yeah. We're gonna have to jump on Clockwork. Yeah. Get close to the jolly old bird himself. Clockwork appears completely inanimate. We still might have a chance. <laughs> if you've played this game for as long as I have, you know that we don't have a chance in hell. Alright, now we got to hope and pray that these guys don't catch us. <sighs> I don't like that sound, by the way. That, you know, that one... Oh, God. Yeah! We can't defeat Arpeggio's guards! Alright, so we have to basically sneak around without being seen. Alright, well at least we know what the eggs are. I'm sensing radioactivity from inside those mech eggs. I wouldn't get too close. Okay, let's just wait here for it to pop by. These magnetic inducers seem to be holding the clockwork parts together. So yeah, yeah. Say okay. Well, that's not too bad, right? <laughs> right? Uh, yeah. You yeah, didn't notice one other problem. Now we get okay. Clockwork appears completely inanimate. We still might have a chance. Sly, I'm detecting voices from the front of the blimp. I think it's Arpeggio. Okay, let's get over there and have a look. Vila? Vila's here too! Okay, that's what we do. There we go. What the frag? 
not your style, but I need a quick plan of attack. Try to think of a way, any way, to stop clockwork from getting reassembled. Well, those magnetic inducers seem to be holding the parts together. If you reverse their polarity, it should pull clockwork apart. Unfortunately, the inducer speed control station is locked down tight. Pickpocket keys for the four patrolling guards to get at it. Then, you'll need to manually reverse the polarity of each inducer deck at the top of their rotation. Consider it done. So, yeah. No, we are now doing a quick plan of attack, but unfortunately, it's not Bentley's style. Noting that Bentley isn't talented. Well, I wouldn't say that. It's not exactly, you know, comfortable doing it like this. I mean, wouldn't you? I mean, Bentley likes to take a, a couple of days off, work out all the chinks in the armor, and then plan his attack. Inst Insta plan is not Bentley's cup of soup. And none of you get the reference? Well, uh, it's basically a dietary thing in, yeah, for the chaptastics in uh, good old UK. Oh, frack. Fuck off! Oh yeah. Now get to the speed control station to slow down the spinning inducer. Ah, frag it. This is, as I said, last level, not my style. Now get to the speed control station to slow down the spinning inducer. And good night. A lock, please. Thank you. Now that the inducer decks are spinning slower, get up there and reverse the polarity of each deck. Well, that's all, all well and good, Bentley, but I'm still not exactly a brilliant raccoon thief. Plus, this is extremely time consuming. So, uh, let's hit the music, of which I have none, so let's just. Hit. All right. Again, actually, I think I can get this done quickly if I just exploit the freaking thing here. So, really, there's not much to this zone. It's, well, not much to it except for me dying constantly, which I have to apologize for. I've never been prepared for this zone. It's not my favorite zone, but I've, and then again, I've only been here once. But Arpeggio Zone is... Oh, Lock. There we go. Arpeggio Zone is the one that gives me the most grief, especially memory-wise, because I can't... Again, I've only ever completed this game once. I enjoy it. I honestly got to do. 
It's just I don't have the best memory in the world. Anyone at college can contend to that. So, you know. Ugh. Come on, okay, let's hit the music. And done. Oh, we should be. This wouldn't be much of a final level if this didn't happen. What's all this then? The magnets have been reversed. But by Jove, it seems to have locked the clockwork parts into place. Excellent. Cooper, of course this would be your doing. Ah, Mr. Cooper, no doubt you believed a reversal would pull the old bird apart, eh? <laughs> but it seems to have had quite the opposite effect. I'm truly grateful. When fully powered up, I'll join myself to its circuits and be born anew. All this because you can't fly. You're pathetic. Immortality! Immortality is what I seek. The other Claw Gang members were much too short-sighted. They were satisfied using the clockwork parts to drive their various trivial schemes. But not me. No. I saw them for what they really were. The keys to life eternal. So, what? You had Neela put me on the scent back in Cairo and then waited while I stole the parts from the other Claw Gang members, all the while not arousing any suspicion that you were behind it all? You make it sound easy, Cooper. I had to carry your pathetic gang through that first set of heists. I was overjoyed when Arpeggio let me toss you in jail. I could finally go after the parts myself. Ah, but acquiring all the parts was only half the equation. Think, Cooper. What kept Clockwork alive for thousands of years? He was fueled by his hatred for my family. Splendid! That's right! Hatred! Putting his gears and wires together was child's play, compared with accumulating that much hatred. You can't make people hate. Oh, my poor naive boy. My meticulous mind has found a way. As your hippopotamus friend will attest, Spice consumption makes you both angry and susceptible to hypnosis. The Contessa, hypnotist extraordinaire, devised a way to command people through the use of flashing lights. I've created this blimp to be a massive transmitter of those precise light frequencies. The only problem I faced was finding a suitable source of light waves. The Northern Lights. You've been collecting northern light energy so you could hypnotize everyone beneath the blimp. Ah, hypnotize those who'd eaten food covered in illegal spice. Thank goodness for Dimitri. Through his nightclub, he got the whole city to consume the spice. You're going to Paris to unleash a hypnotic light show of hate. That's outlandishly cruel. Cruel, perhaps, but necessary to give clockwork his spark of immortality. Ah well, my new body awaits me. Be a dear, Nila, and keep him covered. Ta-ta! Stupid arpeggio. I double-crossed the Cooper gang, Interpol, and Carmelita. What made you think I wouldn't do the same to you? This is preposterous! You're my protege! Not the next candidate for my immortality. I demand you exit the clockwork frame or... or... And like that, our new foe awaits. 
as we all know, things are looking grim. Neela has joined herself to the clockwork frame and the Union has produced Clockla. She's out and free to terrorize the world. This blimp is still in motion to Paris. I can only assume Arpeggio's autopilot will activate the hate hypnosis light show. If that happens, there will be no stopping Clockla. She'll be immortal. But we still have a chance. In her new form, she'll need to draw a lot of energy from this blimp's engines to stay strong. If we can disable the engines, that should be enough to weaken her to a state in which we can attack. Getting at these engines will require all three of us to work together in perfect harmony. We've pulled off some tough jobs in the past. But they were just a warm-up round for what we'll be going through tonight. And the sad part is, he's not wrong. <laughs> These missions are gruelingly punish uh, punishable. And they will destroy you if you show a single sign of weakness. As such, I have to massively say that if you ever want to get through this with you know your skin and your ass intact you need to grab the bottles as soon as possible especially since the bottles can give you one last amazing power that can just give you an edge it's not the best but it's an amazing power that is likely to help again i don't know what the power is but i can only assume it's good I'll flash on the screen right now what the power is that we'll be achieving, but I'll know only afterwards. Meaning next episode is going to be a full bottle run. No quests, and I will be taking my time on this. I will explain everything else in post credits. Alright, this is Mystical Gamer Sunny out to say, thanks for watching, we are going to get our ass destroyed by Clockla. So, stay tuned. Alright, I'll see you guys next time. Ciao.